Hello, I'm Richard Stage, and today we're going to be painting along with Bob Ross, Season 1, Episode 2, Mount McKinley. This is his first, well, his second show, but the first one with his mountains. And this should be a tremendous challenge. So let's see what happens. Hello, and welcome to Painting with Bob Ross. This is Season 1, Episode 2. We're doing Mount McKinley today. And we're going to start off, we're going to put on a nice fresh coat of the liquid white, or magic white as Bob calls it. And the reason he does it this way is so he can get the paint to blend in instead of Letting it sit and dry his wet on wet technique, he does. He uh, puts a coarse paint on wet paint. And I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to learn by doing what Bob does. Okay, we got a nice even coat of the liquid white here. Clean off the brush. And let's get started. In last, the first episode, I didn't see him, didn't see it of course, I didn't see that he put the liquid white on during the episode, this one he did it before. Oh, we're dancing in some shapes here. Yes, let it happen. Oh, he's got his sideways. Uh oh. Okay. This canvas is sideways, mine is vertical. No, he is the one in brush. I am so out of it. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to have to switch the canvas. the clouds at the bottom. Okay, big crush. Plush, Prussian blue, phthalo green. Lazy man's way of painting, he says. Oh, almighty fan brush. Okay, 
Looks kinda of red. I'm gonna start working on some basic cloud shapes here, little dancing dolls, little areas and let 'em just play in the sky. I made pink bob. What am I supposed to do with that? Nature is beautiful, Bob, but painting is not when you don't know what you're doing. the hell out of canvas and when I try that see I think I know what the problem is I think he's using his liquid white for that I'm beating mine into a basket or a bucket.
Bob. No, it's the, that's not that. Yeah, that's a little roll of white. How do you make the roll, Bob? There, pull it up flat. Little roll. It, are you using your magic fight for that, Bob? things happening in this mountain, Bob. There's a lot going on, Bob, and none of it's good. What, what are we doing? Okay. It's a disaster. Paint Bob. No, he's right about the paints because some of the paints I bought are crap. First painting, the Van Dyke Brown. Uh, this slid off the canvas. What? Did, okay. Okay, that's the Prussian blue. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Bob says it's mountains. I don't think so.
Bob, I'm, I, I got the paint on the knife, and I'm barely touching the canvas. Spread it thin. Cut in a little. No, Bob. Yeah, see, keep paints fly. You don't like flying paint. I'm making two, right? Okay, Bob. You said one inch brush. All right. Yeah, this is what happens. You get a little overwhelmed. You don't know what the heck you're doing. No, because you don't know what the heck you're doing. And Why? Bob, why? 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 I'm picking up all the blue. Dry brush. See, I try to blend and it. Bob, I try to blend and it turns into crap. How the hell are you blending it, Bob? See, there's that, he uses some liquid white instead of white. And my palette's gone to hell. Right, Bob. 
No, we don't. in my garage because you're mixing paints that stick I'm mixing paints that blend so tell me where in my brush this lives come on Bob Look, I'm doing that, Bob. It's blend. Why is it blending? Brushes Bob uses. He tells us, oh, you just need a one inch, two inch of fan brush. And that's that. That's not quite true. You don't really say that though, Bob. You say, oh, mix the white in. Okay, straight magic white. See, I get that. saying anybody can do this. <coughs> okay, young people. Or, or. Right. 
blue and yellow mixed together. I have no blue and no yellow because I, I keep screwing it up and Just a touch, Bob. You see, Bob. The only thing that lives in my brush is pain. So apparently what Bob does is he mixes everything with liquid white. So if you don't have liquid white mixed, you're not going to stick. Having multiple tools will help too, because or having somebody off screen to clean them off. Yes, I have a beautiful painting in my heart. What I have on the canvas, though. Doesn't look like Mount McKinley, Bob. But it's art, I suppose. Thanks for watching. This was Painting Along with Bob Ross, Season 1, Episode 2, Mount McKinley. I'm not sure that's Mount McKinley, but I did learn quite a bit. Whenever Bob talks about using white, he's talking about his liquid white, which makes the paint thinner, which makes it stick to the layers underneath. So we learned something today, and we made a painting that does look like mountains behind trees. So I guess mission accomplished. <laughs>